Hello, this is Jill Coleman and welcome to Jill Stamps. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the new petite purse die available uh, currently as a sneak peek with Stampin' Up! on the Summer Smooches promotion during April 2012. When our new 2012-2013 catalog goes live on June 1st, this die will be a part of our main lineup. With this die, you can make little petite purses, hence the name. Let me show you what you get when you run this Bigs die through your Big Shot. The cool thing also about this die is that you get two purses from one piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So put your sandwich together using your two cutting mats. Mine are very well etched. I just say they're very well loved. That's the cool thing about these is if you are rotating them well as you're using your Big Shot, these will last you a long, long time. So got your sandwich together. Crank that through your Big Shot. And what you'll get with that petite purse die is a handle and your purse body piece. So once you've got that out, you need to apply sticky strip to the small little edges there. And your creases are already creased for you as it's run through the big shot. And so once you've got your sticky strip ready, you'll adhere your purse. Um, one side will come towards the front and the other will adhere on the back. And then just bring your purse top down and there's a little slit here to um, close your tab into. And then the fun begins. This is when you get to embellish. So you can choose any kind of little goodies to finish off your purse. With this one I use some filigree brads and use some silver brads on the side to attach my handle to the outside. And with this purse I chose to adhere the handles on the inside of the box and this box was made with some tempting turquoise cardstock and some of the new Summer Smooches designer series paper and some of the Summer Smooches fabric buttons. Be sure to grab these this month in April as these are just limited to April 2012 and they are a lot of fun to add to your projects. Add a little tag on this one. Um, same designer series paper. Um, put it on a Daffodil Delight purse and embellished with one of our Brights buttons with a Daffodil Delight brad through the center and some brads on the side. Okay, just bear with me here. We went a little crazy. Crazy enough to where my 12-year-old son walked in and he needed to make a purse of his own. He used Marina Mist and decided to bling his purse out with some Suttles Glimmer Brads and he smooched spritzed the whole thing with some silver foil smooch. Then you've got your classic early espresso purse with some designer series paper on the front panel, some antique brads for the closure and some vintage brads there on the side. Think maybe wedding or bridal shower. These two purses would be perfect for them. We have a pool party purse that's been embellished with some punch flowers and some half pearls. Decided to make the handle a different color. And you can choose also on the handle if you don't want the thin handle that comes with a die cut. You could make it a little wider strip and embellish this with ribbon. You could add some extra um, touch around the edge of the front of the purse. With the pink pirouette purse, I used a rhinestone brad for the closure and added texture to the entire purse by running that purse piece after I die cut it back through the big shot with one of our texture plates. So another fun element you could add to your purses. So I have to say this little die happens to be just a little bit addicting. It needs to come with a warning. Once you get going, you just think of all kinds of ideas of little purses you can make. And they'd be perfect for a little garden party, a little girl's birthday party, bridal shower, um, wedding. They would hold some Hershey's nuggets or any other little treat that you could think to put in there. I hope you're as excited about this new petite purse die as I am. Thanks so much for stopping by today. You can purchase this die through my website at jillstamps.com. You can also find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for being here today. Bye-bye.